Hi guys, Captain Alfred here. Today I am uh, gonna talk about this movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Out of the Shadows. Yeah, Out of the Shadows. And uh, my thoughts on the movie. My thoughts and opinions. Is my thoughts and opinions? Yeah, alright. And my mother is talking outside, who cares? Anyway, um, I like the beginning of the movie. It had very good music. And we see the Ninja Turtles doing some mission and failing on doing parkour and such, but they are succeeding it in a way. And we have a quarter million Ninja Turtles from the other movie that I've seen. But maybe you have don't, but it's the new generation in 2015 or 16 Ninja Turtles. But anyway, it was interesting, it had fun, and I also like that they have Krang in this. And also, they had changed Splinter again. I think they've changed her, his, um, uh, what should we say, animation looking rat face person thing. But anyway, it was fun movie and we had some actions, they got to some places, they got stuff. Oh wait, they got them, um, they tried to find a liquid that could do them human. Which I don't know why they didn't damn use it when they had it in their hands in the end. But anyway, spoiler warning though, they had it in the hands in the end and they didn't want to use it anyway. They could have used it for something. And throughout this movie we see also April O'Neil, she does good stuff as well. She's kind of smart. They're using their tricks of, you know, hacking and such. Being their characters. And we see some characters from the animated turtles tv show the old one from the 80s i think we see krang we see shredder in a new costume but pretty interesting not so menacing but kind of menacing looking and <laughs> we also see casey jones with saying lo uh, locking him in and saying yeah now you're gonna go away and like two minutes later he got away and he got escaping and then they blame him and don't put him in the way. And a very annoying, ungrateful police chief woman is a jerk to him. And also to me. Because I think she was a jerk. She even cannot look. Oh, someone has stolen my phone. Yeah, Casey Jones later on in the movie stole his phone. Spoiler, stole his phone. Stole his phone. Stole his phone. Sorry, stole her phone. And we also see a scientist, and the scientist talks about science stuff. And also, we had some fun action. B Boy and Rocksteady is here. Pretty nice, pretty good. Played by good actors. I don't know their names, but pretty good. We had some fun, we had some laughs. I actually laughed quite in the movie. Though in the movie theater there were none, which was surprising. But anyway, who cares? Um, though it was enjoyable and uh, pretty fun action and Krang actually did something with his arm spoiler did something with his arm and put um, yeah, what, what can we say? Uh, um, middle aged weapon a middle aged club weapon with spikes I don't know the name they're called right now but anyway he did that pretty fun and a new nice design to him pretty nice but some points I was like this why did you not do this? Oh, why did you not do this? For example, how is it possible a freaking tank survives a f plane crash? I know it's a movie, but holy shit. But Jesus, why? Why? And um, so, anyway, how that survives and how they survive a fall from an. Uh, from a waterfall, I don't know. The Ninja Turtles fall from a waterfall in the movie as well. Some fun action, talking about serious stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. And um, we had some stuff with funny scenes, action, cool action, good. And some cops were scared, <laughs> like shit scared, and like, why did it do anything? Pretty stupid, fun things as well. Pretty nice, but um, I give this movie for. At least bringing in Krang and Bebop and Rocksteady. At least I give um, five for that. 
Story, I give it... I give it a 3. It's not the best story, but though kind of good. For the feeling, emotion things, I give it maybe... I give it a 4 then. But 4 for story, that's it. And... Cinematography or... Uh, backgrounds and such. Mm, I give it a 3. I think. A 3, I think. Though, I... I think I change on that. I give it a... I think I give it a 3. And for though the battle chip for the Krang, I give it a 5 for that. For the battle chip of Krang, I give it 5. For the art direction of the battle chip. For everything else, a 3. And I think the movie is fun and it was enjoyable. Thank you and bye. P.S. P.S. Gas from the movie. I didn't know that they even put in sex jokes in the movie. Why did they do that? To Ninja Turtles, why? It's stupid, why? Though, the comic was adult from the beginning. The comic was adult. But anyway, who cares? Though, I like was like this. Why? In a way. That was all for that.